All right, everyone, it is finally time for the 2023 Chicago Marathon. This 26.2 mile race is one of the world's premier marathon majors. And on this day, we have an estimated 40,000 athletes taking to the streets of Chicago for a shot at a new personal best. And thankfully, the racing conditions are close to perfect on this day. With temperatures right around 45 degrees Fahrenheit at the start, there's next to no chance of rain, wind has been slightly decreasing from the previous forecasts, and perhaps the most influential factor potentially lending a helping hand to these athletes is an overcast condition, meaning that the sun will likely be behind the clouds for much of this race. This is extremely good news because this elite field is absolutely insane with genuine world record discussions going down on the men's and the women's sides. Now on the men's side, the primary storyline is certainly Kelvin Kiptum from Kenya, who comes into this event not only undefeated in the marathon, but with two historically fast times to his name, winning the 2022 Valencia Marathon and running the second fastest time in history in the 2023 London Marathon, which for Kelvin Kiptum, place him in the top five for both of these performances. However, if he plans to win this race, he will certainly have to work for it, because there is also a total of nine athletes with personal records under two hours and six minutes in this field. On the men's side, we also have Galen Rupp, Connor Mance, and Leonard Career representing the United States. And according to Galen Rupp, he comes into this Chicago race with some of the best fitness that he has ever had, so his appearance is certainly very exciting. Over on the women's side, we also have a very quick field assembled, with eight athletes holding personal records under two hours and 20 minutes. And we also have to mention the defending champion, Ruth Chepengedich, who almost broke the world record in last year's Chicago Marathon, fading beyond the world record ever so slightly over the closing stages in last year's race. However, she certainly plans for a fast race this year because in her pre-race interview, she said that she will be going out under 66 minutes for the first half, which is historically fast. In fact, it is so fast that it would even challenge the new world record of Tigist Acefa, who just ran a time of two hours 11 minutes and 53 seconds less than three weeks in the past. With good conditions and a very quick field assembled, this race certainly has the potential to be very fast, but only time will tell who ultimately comes out on top. Through the opening stages of this marathon, we saw Kelvin Kiptum immediately jump to the lead, gapping the entire field pretty much instantly. And through the opening five kilometers, I'm very happy to report that he was already flying as he achieved a split time of 14 minutes and 26 seconds, which is almost exactly world record tempo for the marathon. This five kilometer split time represents a pace of four minutes and 38 seconds per mile or two minutes and 53 seconds per kilometer. And if he held this all the way to the finish line, it would place him at two hours, one minute and 23 seconds, two seconds faster than his personal record and 14 seconds behind Kipchoge's world record. However, it became apparent that Kiptum wasn't here simply to hold this pace for as long as he could, because through the 10 kilometer split, Kiptum hit a time of 28 minutes and 42 seconds, representing a previous 5K split of 14 minutes and 16 seconds. At this point in the race, Kiptum had already dropped down below the current world record tempo, as his predicted finish at this point was 2 hours, 1 minute, and 6 seconds. And even though the men's race was already unfolding with historic implications, we were actually seeing the exact same thing go down on the women's side, as Ruth Chepengedich and Sifan Hassan were absolutely flying through the opening stages of this marathon. Through five kilometers, Ruth Chepengedich and Sifan Hassan were looking very smooth through the opening stage, hitting a 5K time of 15 minutes and 42 seconds. And while this was already right at world record tempo, they also increased the pace over the second five kilometer split, hitting a time through 10K of 31 minutes and five seconds. At this point, it was already a two-person race between Sifan Hassan and Chepin Gedich, and if they were to hold this pace all the way to the finish, they were incredibly set to run a time of 2 hours, 11 minutes, and 20 seconds, which would be well ahead of the current world record of Tigist Acefa. The possibilities of this marathon were already outstanding on both the men's and women's sides, and speaking of the men's race, Kelvin Kiptum only continued to prove his greatness up front. Through the 15 kilometer split, Kiptum hit a time of 43 minutes and 9 seconds, which still had Kiptum running right around Elliot Kipchoge's current world record. And then through the opening half, 
we saw a split time of 1 hour and 48 seconds, which was lightning fast for the opening half. However, this pace now put him more than 30 seconds behind Kipchoge's finish. Now it is worth mentioning that this tempo was way faster than the current course record of Chicago, which currently stands at 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 45 seconds set by Dennis Cometto back in 2013. So Kiptum's attack on this course up to this point has already been amazing. However, it is also very crucial to remember that Kiptum has already made a reputation as a huge negative split athlete, as he has done this for his previous two marathons. So even though he is slightly outside of current world record pace, he still has a chance to break the record. Back to the women's side, the battle only continued between Ruth Chepengedich and Safan Hassan. However, at the half marathon split, we actually saw a little bit of separation between the two, as Chepengedich achieved a time of 1 hour 5 minutes and 42 seconds, and Safan Hassan was now behind by about 6 seconds, which still placed both athletes ahead of the current world record. But perhaps this was the first moment where Chepengedich officially made her move for the win. After passing through the half marathon split, Kelvin Kiptum was still running up front with his two pacers, and even though he was running right around world record pace for the following 5 kilometers, things very quickly started to get crazy. After hitting the 20 mile marker, Kelvin Kiptum noticeably shifted gears, and he threw down one of the greatest surges in marathon history once again. For his 20th mile, he achieved a time of 4 minutes and 21 seconds, and for his 21st mile, he reportedly ran a time of 4 minutes and 24 seconds. From 30 to 35 kilometers, Kiptum dropped one of the fastest 5k splits in marathon history once again, achieving a 5k split time of 13 minutes and 51 seconds. This was a devastating move, and it now officially put Kiptum ahead of Kipchoge's world record. But as you can imagine, Kiptum was not even close to being done, because from 35k up to 40 kilometers, he threw down another insane split at 14 minutes and 1 second. At this point, it seemed almost inevitable that Kiptum was set to break the world record of the great Elliot Kipchoge, and with just moments left in this race, it was pretty apparent that he was going to break the 2 hour and 1 minute barrier. Storming down this final stretch, Kiptum really achieved something quite special here. Over just three marathon appearances, he has run some of the most insane times that the world has ever seen, and incredibly all of his performances have been negative splits. But this performance, the 2023 Chicago Marathon, has by far been his greatest, because with a finishing time of 2 hours and 35 seconds, Kelvin Kiptum just smashed the world record of Elliot Kipchoge by 34 seconds, and he is now the official world record holder over the men's marathon. With absolutely unbelievable half marathon splits of 1 hour and 48 seconds, followed by another unbelievable negative split of 59 minutes and 47 seconds, Kiptum once again has only broken 2 hours and 2 minutes in the marathon, and he is now the only official athlete to break 2 hours and 1 minute in the marathon. Perhaps the reign of Kipchoge is officially starting to fade, or perhaps the clash between Kiptum and Kipchoge will be legendary in 2024 come the Olympics. But either way, today's Chicago Marathon resulted in a new marathon world record with an average pace, now get ready for this, of 4 minutes and 35 seconds per mile, or 2 minutes and 51 seconds per kilometer. Absolutely unbelievable. Finishing behind Kiptum in this race was Benson Kipruto in second, who finished in a very impressive time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 2 seconds. But this was more than 3 minutes behind the great Kiptum. Now finishing in third place was Bashir Abdi in 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 32 seconds, followed by John Career in 2.05.09, then followed by Sifu Tura in 2.05.29. And I also wanted to mention that we had a very strong American contingent in this race, with Connor Mance finishing in 6th in 2 hours and 7 minutes, Clayton Young finishing in 7th in 2 hours and 8 minutes flat, Galen Rupp finished in 8th in 2.08.48, and Sam Chalanga finished in 9th in 2 hours 8 minutes and 50 seconds. This was an absolutely unforgettable race on the men's side. But we haven't even touched on what happened on the women's side, because after crossing through halfway, it really did seem as though Chepengedich was starting to unleash her classic marathon capabilities. 
But if there's one thing that you should know about Safan Hassan, it's that she always has something left in the marathon. Because even though she had been gapped by up to 10 seconds at one point, she quickly made an incredible resurgence to the front. And with an absolutely insane surge over the second half, she only continued to increase her lead as this race continued. And with a finishing time of two hours, 13 minutes and 44 seconds, Safan Hassan just improved on her own personal record by about four and a half minutes, and she officially broke the course record, which of course used to be the world record of Bridget Koske from 2019, as she ran a time of two hours, 14 minutes, and four seconds. Now, finishing in second was Ruth Chepin Gedich in two hours, 15 minutes, and 37 seconds. And finishing in third was Magurtu Alimu in two hours, 17 minutes, and nine seconds. In this race, we saw four athletes running under two hours and 20 minutes. And for the United States, Emily Sisson came out on top in two hours, 22 minutes, and nine seconds, falling just a little bit behind the American record, and she finished in seventh, just in front of Molly Seidel, in two hours, 23 minutes, and seven seconds. This 2023 Chicago Marathon was absolutely insane, with two new course records and a massive world record on the men's side. And all I have to say is keep your eyes on Kelvin Kiptum, because for his next marathon major, we could be seeing an official sub two hour marathon finally go down. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, until next time.